Minecraft. Everybody as well start with the biggest. Let's remake the Ender Dragon into a Lego spaceship first. The body of the dragon is where we can build the main ship core. And I really want the ship to look exactly like a Lego structure. When based with the most aerodynamic angle, now make the Lego really pop by texturing it. Alternating red and white on the wing, off-color green on the front to really highlight the cockpit here. And of course, we can industrialize the thrusters on the back of this spaceship. And then we can take this out and duplicate it to the other side. And there we have it, the LEGO spaceship. This thing is massive, and it's actually hovering. I think there's a little bit of the Ender Dragon still stuck on this ship. Whoa, it just zipped up into the sky, and it looks so weird. from on top of the spaceship, this thing is for sure a 10 out of 10. But it definitely needs a pilot. We'll use a zombie to remake into our astronaut. We'll start with the suit on the arm. Let me get the classic Lego hands. On the leg, we could actually really show off the individual sockets in the Lego pieces. And on his astronaut helmet, we'll make the Lego top really pop. The classic Lego face, this is perfect. Now just texture the traditional Lego paint on the chest, legs, arms, add the intergalactic oxygen pack. Oh, and we can also add a punching flag on the back. I gave the astronaut the ability to moonwalk. <laughs> what would be hilarious? Ten astronauts. He start moonwalking. Let's see who deserves to captain this spaceship, though. No! Oh, another one! These lasers! The spaceship definitely doesn't want to be piloted. Wait! It's a Lego alien! This might actually be bad. I'm just gonna take this as a sign that we need to take down the spaceship. I've got an idea. Let's make a Lego cowboy using an actual cow. Grab the body here and we can use that for the chest. The Lego connector for an arm later. Clip on some of those Lego legs. Textured brown to look like real cowboy leather pants. Plug in the right arm, plug in the left arm, and we could even use the cow head and just make it more Lego-like in the face. Cowboy hat. And now we just have to Lego texture his chest. But cowboy Minecraft. And by cowboy, I literally mean cow. Hey, howdy there, fella. Wait a second. The spaceship that I built you to defeat, it is nowhere to be found. But these little alien fellas are still here. Let's see some wild west cowboy. Whoa, whoa. It's a lasso. Look at this. They can lasso from across the map, and they can do nothing. I know, right? If only that ship was still here, these cowboys could just lasso it back down to Earth. But with the lasso being so aggressive, it might help to have something a little bit sneaky. Let's see if we can turn this skeleton into a Lego spy. Take these chest bones, and we'll turn it into the spy suit. So slide these bony legs underneath. Now we can texture all this Lego zipper, a few top secret device pockets, Lego head, and then we'll just clip on some super Lego spy goggles. Oh, sneaky man! You brought a plunger cannon. What are you gonna plunger the spaceship? Oh, your neck is busted. But I got my fingers crossed that this Lego plunger, they could probably just damage. And I also stole some alien eggs from the spaceship so we can actually test it out. Oh, wait! Oh, that's definitely not a plunger. It's a laser beam of doom. Ooh, oh boy, ouch. You will not last long, guaranteed. Boom! Oh, that definitely not a plunger. It is useful. Let's grab ourselves a team player to really pull things together, though. Let's make the creeper a construction worker. Dislocate the main portions, and I think we should use classic construction orange. And I know we won't see this in-game, but the bottom of the feet has to have the classic Lego clips, too. Texture on his Lego construction vest. Construction belt, grab the creeper head, and we can make him an angry construction worker. And we really need a hard hat. Let's make it orange to match. Look at this construction worker. The fact that we left the creeper head, does that be lightly concerned? I don't want you to build something that you're then just going to turn around and, you know, if the aliens just go around and sneak up on you, I don't know if that hard hat's really going to protect you. Oh, wait, what is that? Wait a second. Oh, I knew it. Oh, you're dead. Oh, two for one. You may not have a brain underneath that hard hat, but we do get to see the Legos. Let me, let me help you out. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to need something else. We're going to try and turn this husk into wild style from the Lego movie. We can start with our usual Lego chest. Pull this arm over. And wild style has a unique suit that is really poofy right around the neck. 
that. And we can texture inside the suit to make it look like a genuine Lego connection. And we'll just tack on the zipper texture as well. And then the classic blue and purple texturing. Grab this husk head and pull up on a Lego head. And now we've got to build out the wild style of haircut. It has a sort of ponytail off to one side. And it also has the blue and purple highlights as well. And why not a little bit of lipstick too? Look at how Wild Style is able to actually grip this entire hammer. A flawless fit. Let's see how well this hammer actually works. What is this? Wait, what in the world? What? Heat-seeking missiles? Death and destruction, I agree. You bring this thing out of the dirt and it launches into the sky and then redirects towards the nearest hostile alien. This remake? Definitely 10 out of 10. They were ready to find this spaceship and bring it down. Oh, I definitely found you. I got Wild Style, the Lego Spot, and Lego Cowboy. Oh, and the fighting has commenced. Wild Style's three rockets going up into the sky right now. Our Lego Spy is firing that plunger beam. There was a lot of damage being done. Unfortunately, our cowboy decided to just go one-on-one -on -one with an alien. So, uh, nice work, buddy. Move our rockets direct him onto the spaceship. Unfortunately, it looks like the spy has met its doom. I'm rooting you guys on. But unfortunately, Wild Style just got knocked into oblivion. And the cowboy shortly to follow. That spaceship is dead. You have to quickly lock in some massive Lego warriors. Let's see if we can take this slime, transform it into Lego Mario, pull this right off the eyes. We can make it into the head. And we'll build a classic Lego Mario look. Attach the Mario hat. And then Lego Mario has super iconic short arms and stubby Lego feet. And just pop on those Mario blue overalls. Compared to Lego Mario examples, this is a one for one replica. Basically a 10 out of 10. And we've seen you before, we know you're strong. Let me just pop into a little cave spider here and see what this Mario is gonna do. Flip in the air, and... Oh, it does work! Wait, he actually flattened the spider? No way! Let's see what happens if I put a bunch of spiders in here. I wanna see him flatten all of them. Wait, he did! Oh, look, they're flattened right away! Oh, those guys got wrecked! And it has this guy highly confused. Let me just be a little bit sure about this and grab you a couple friends. Now let's see what that spaceship can do. We're gonna remake this Blaze into Kai from Ninjago. Grab the Blaze brain, and then we can just build out a classic Lego body, then make this face Ninja Face. And then we'll build out an iconic ninja face mask all the way around, just so the eyes can peek out. Texture on the ninja outfit to make it authentic. And pulling the rods now for the Kai elemental powers. Ninjago Kai! That bodysuit must protect you from this absolute heat. The floating elemental powers, he doesn't even need to walk. These aliens, they're invading again. I don't think that's going to be any problem for this guy. I gave him some very special powers. Out of the 50 yard line, Kai is making a run for the end zone, and there's one defender in his way. And instead of going around, he decided to try to murder him. The team is building, but we need more superpowers. We could definitely use Lego Batman, so let's rip off the wing, plug in the Batman and Lego body. Now we can transform the wing into Batman's arm. Underbelly bat belt, texture on a set of rock hard bat abs, and the emblem. Oh, and we definitely need the Batman earpieces. And then the Lego Batman cape. We've seen him once, we'll see him again, Lego Batman. And the arms are a flapping. Look at that bat cape move. Get down here, get a closer look at that delicious tool belt. Oh, I know you've got some batarangs in there. You can see him toss them down right there. Boom. We'll see how quickly he can finish one off. There's a fourth, there's a fifth, there's a sixth, and he's dead. We'll pump it up to a nine out of ten. Six batarangs to doom. It looks like he's targeted another alien, and he's wrecked. We've got the tools of destruction, but you could still use some powers of destruction. Let's get Lego Gandalf into Minecraft using this witch. Grab the chest and squish it down, Lego body. Plop the witch head on top, and actually let's see if we can use this nose to build Lego Gandalf's beard. Stretch out this witch head, and I'll tilt the top cap, gray beard, and age up this Lego face. Dude, you look old. Also, look at that beard move. You two remember you guys are the same side, all right? Let's turn this Vindicator into Darth Vader. Start with adjusting this 
Nose into the Darth Vader mask base and extend it all the way around. Texture it all black. And now let's retexture this Vindicator body into the Darth Vader suit. Pull on that classic Darth Vader cape, and then we'll just add the Lego texture onto the chest. That is righteous. Darth Vader with the Lego lightsaber. And the helmet looks exactly like a Darth Vader Lego helmet. For some reason, these aliens decided to bring friends back, but they might be a little bit scared now when they see Darth Vader. Last I heard, Darth Vader has a lack of respect for life, and I can see him choking you. Darth Vader's annihilating literally everything in sight, and he hasn't even bothered to use his lightsaber. Once. Oh, 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 oh. It's time to charge, Darth Vader. The spaceship has moved to a brand new clearing. There you go, Vader. Gandalf, Ninjago Guy, Batman, and Lego Mario. Let's get after this big ship. Guy has charged right in under the line of fire, and he's currently setting the ground to flame. And despite a direct hit, Gandalf is still pulling down a meteor. It might hit, it might miss, it missed. The brain goes right after the spaceship. Oh, and it is wrecking. Darth Vader is still standing there using the force of the aliens. Gandalf pulls in another meteor. A smack, debris in the air, targeting the spaceship. Batman is 